TV crew, welcome back to another banger! Okay, man, we're back with another one. So highly requested with some more drum breakdowns, some drum reactions, um, and I found Mark Giuliano, man. Mark, Mark Giuliano is one of my all-time favorite drummers, hands down. And the reason I like uh, Mark is he's so musical, so musical, so musical, with the smallest setups. Mm, I love it. All right, here we go. We got our VF jams. I'm not sure if I've seen this or not. Um, if I have, and if it comes to me, I'll do more of a breakdown. Um, if I have it, I'll do more of a reaction. Um, so we'll see it. Here we go. Welcome to VF Jams Live. Hey. This is a super special event put on by the people of Vic Firth, showcasing some of the best drummers and the guy next to by Elmo, an amazing band fantastic led by drummer, Mr. Robert and Teacher. <laughs> Adam. Our artist today is an amazing drummer that's done really creative things to the drum set, and we all love him. His current projects are Beat Music and the Mark Juliana Quartet. I'm fast forwarding this. I'm sorry. I love you, Emma, but uh, we're going to move this along. Here we go. See how small the setup is? Yeah, Joe. Yeah, colors, timbers. Four times sounds amazing. Yeah. Ah, good crushes. Tambors he's using. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Big, big. All right, before we go any further, I want, if you're a drummer or if you're not a drummer, uh, let, let's just all go into this with this kind of vision. So he has very limited things. Like if you look at my setup behind me, eh, there's a lot of shit back here. Um, and it's great, you know, I utilize all of it and that's all cool. But he has, very little options in terms of drums, right? Drums and cymbals. He doesn't have that many options in terms of that. So when you're doing this, you have to create more dynamic ranges and colors and timbres and textures and all this kind of stuff. It requires you to use every part of what you have. So if you're using every part of the cymbal, that's going all the way up to the bell, all the way down to the edge of that cymbal. If you're using a drum, that's going to the middle, to the edges, to the rims, to the shells. If you have hardware, you're probably banging on the hardware. You're, you're doing all kinds of things here to make sure you can give colors and textures and tampers and, and, and just more finesse and ambience into what you have. So just take a look. He's, him and Nate Smith are probably the best at this um, that I've seen in, um, Another great drummer that does this is Arturo, uh, not Arturo, Jesus Christ. Um, Antonio Sanchez plays for Pat Metheny and his own group. And just check out all three of those guys. They, they're just very, very good at doing what I just described here. So let's all go into this with that vision and just look at what he's doing here. It's, 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 it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buckle, buckle. You see that? Part of the stick, every part of the symbol. Oh yeah, yeah. Woo! Chords. 
Look at his placement on the hi hat right now. He has a gazillion things up there. He doesn't. It's just colors and timbres and textures and using what you have. Yeah, dope! Woo! Ah! Yeah, yeah. It's a conversation now between those two. Looks like they're coming out of the solo. I'm gonna go back it up just a little bit and try to explain a lot of what just happened here. So this was his space, right? There was a, some pads going on there, some little colors and textures by other instrumentalists. The percussionist was kind of keeping things moving, but it was really a conversation between drum and bass in that moment. So uh, the bass player only has his bass, and Mark has very little options in terms of drums and cymbals, right? But somehow this section just grew and grew and grew and it, and it didn't feel like it was stale. It didn't feel like it was too long. It didn't feel like anything besides excellence. And, and, and that's, it just shows you how, you don't need a lot of things to make music. Simple, just understand the things that you have in terms of, the, and, the, and the range of your drum, right? You have all the way up to the edge of where the rim connects, all the way into the center of the drum. Utilize it because each part of that is going to give you a different color and texture. If you lean slightly into that symbol and you hit it with more of the like the shaft part of the uh, of the stick here, it's going to make a different sound than if you use the or utilize the bead. He just understands this, man. Yes, Mark, you're one of my favorites, bro. If you ever watch this, good job, man. Like I'm, I'm proud of you of everything you're accomplishing, and you're just phenomenal. If you're not hip to him, just please go subscribe to him. Just check him out in his group. I'm gonna back up just ever so slightly because it feels like they're gonna go into a next section here. So let's just get into that without my freaking talking going on here. Ah, oh, yeah! Ah, ra! Y'all see who's in the audience? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're growing this now. Instrumentalists, yeah. Ooh. Get to those hits.
Bowl. All right, I, I'm gonna back this up just so slightly, and then I'll, I'll do like an overall thing. But I wanna, I wanna talk about something as you guys see this. Um, Jarvis, don't edit weird stuff here. So take a look at his setup right now. There's no lugs that are on top of his or the screw that's on top of his symbol. And you see how far, like in terms of space, his hi hat is. When that happens, you have very little control in terms of the the, the stand isn't going to help you if that makes sense. So it, the it, the more you tighten it, the more restricted your your symbol is going to be. So if you're a hard hitter and you don't really want to have to finesse. Um, too much as you're playing, you might want to bring that down just a little bit, kind of control the symbol so it's not ringing or it's not super out of control. He chose not even to have it there. So that also shows you how disciplined and control he is as a drummer. To be able to get all kinds of colors and textures because the symbol isn't going to naturally just stop um, moving around after you strike it. it it's going to have some flop to it depending on how much and how hard you hit this. So where his hi-hat is right now, if he wants to get that more of a sizzle sound, he's got to control that. That's a big space between the two. He's got to control that with his foot. There's so much control here. So much control. Mark, phenomenal job, man. Super, super phenomenal. If you guys are not hip to him, please, 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 just go follow him on Instagram. Go support everything he does because you will never be disappointed in what this man does when he's behind those drums, all right? You hear me? Super, super cool. Also, all the drummers in that room, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh. Anyway, man, we're on the road to 30K, man. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, man. And uh, JB Crook, I appreciate you.